We're here at Sepe Bilbao 2024, and I'm sitting alongside Dr. Jan Dirks. Doctor, thank you for coming. My pleasure. I want to ask you, what's your general evaluation about uh, the Sepe Bilbao 2024 Congress? Yeah, uh, you know, I would say, as always, as an outsider coming from Sweden, I'm, I'm amazed by what SEPA can put together, and Bilbao 24 is uh, just another example of many. Uh, great success, a lot of people, great organization, a lot of fun. So coming to these congresses is, is, is just a pleasure. Uh, so I, I just I can only congrat congratulate SEPA on this. Uh. And in your experience, you've attended several of these congresses over the years in your career. Walk us through the growth and the, the evolution of, of this Congress and what it's become today versus what it was when you first started coming. Yeah, y you know, I, I mean, I consider myself still a young guy, so I am maybe not the one to give the full historical perspective. So, but, but my view is that, you know, SEPA has been, has been amazing in picking up, uh, you know, young people that, that are still at the beginning of their academic career, you know, having them come and speak at congresses and then you know yeah. building up a friendship a, a relationship of sorts uh so so integrating them into the family so you know as people then grow and progress into more senior positions and so on you know they they are still happy to come because of these uh, these ties uh, so um you know evolving maintaining at a very high level high quality congresses so that's what i what i see in sepa congresses and uh <coughs> Excuse me, so, so how does this Congress uh, compare uh, with some of the other Congresses, the big Congresses mm, that yeah. you've been to around the world? Yeah, I think, you know, in the way it sticks out, and, and I'm sure pretty much everybody will agree, is this, this sense of family. I mean, you return to, to meet friends. Um, <coughs> you know, and it's just to, to look around, you know, how people meet on a personal, private level. Uh, that's that's how it sticks out, uh, and uh, that's really s special to me, coming to to these places where you know you gather world leaders. These are not just Spanish people; these are you know from globally, um, and that's that's how it sticks out. You know, creating this atmosphere of uh, of friendship. Beyond that sense of family, is there some message that you could give to uh, uh, dentists and um, periodontists around the world? that are not necessarily from Spain. This is an event uh, put on by the Spanish Society of Periodontology and Osseointegration, but it, it's growing more and more internationally and attracting more and more international people. What would you say to those uh, uh, periodontists and dentists in the United States, in Canada, and in, uh, in, in Asia? Mm. Uh, what would be a good way to explain to them that they should come? Yeah. No, what are they missing by not being here? No, I, I, I see, see a question. And my, my response to this would be, you know, it's, a, it's an... It's a global Congress. I mean, international touch for sure. So it's it's a tremendous opportunity to meet basically the world leaders in in different fields in in one spot, in a well organized Congress, usually at, at wonderful places. So I'd be hard pressed to to say, you know, what's not to like, right? <laughs> I mean, that's that's my my take. So it's like a it's like a, a tremendous international Congress, collecting all people many of the world leaders in one place so i mean I'm an outsider from europe from from the us or, or somewhere else you know i mean they will find a lot of things that are to like although it's a spanish congress in that sense thank you very much doctor thanks for your time my pleasure